Hi everybody, uh, today we had a pretty good day in the stock market, uh, about up 2% uh, overall. Uh, we're still in after hours, uh, but we did pretty well today. Here's kind of the overall market map. You can see um, just a couple exceptions uh, right here, which are pretty important exceptions. Apple uh, was down 1.26% and TSMC was down about 1.23%, uh, 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 so about the same as Apple and Qualcomm as well. So if you look at the scatter plot um, on price to sales versus percent change, uh, you can kind of see that uh, some of these companies out here um, are doing not so great. Um, this is Apple and this is TSMC. Um, so here the x-axis is a volume in U.S. dollars. So you can see uh, a, lot of, a lot of volume here on the negative side uh, for Apple. Um, you can kind of see also kind of led by Tesla here. Um, and then Microsoft Corporation, NVIDIA, and Amazon. So you can kind of see uh, some of these, uh, although they were positive, they kind of all tilted towards what was happening with Apple. So you see uh, quite a number of companies uh, below their average relative volume, so below one here on this side. Uh, and then this is the companies uh, above one on the relative volume scale. Uh, you can see percentage change, so zero is up in here, so most of them did quite well today. So early in the day, we saw a pretty big push into the market, uh, positive force here. Um, this was around uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, and then that kind of went up here. You can see um, for quite a while, actually, about half an hour of uh, upward momentum. Um, that pushed us basically above VWAP, um, maybe even for the day. So that should have given us the sign that uh, the rest of the day was gonna be pretty positive. But at the same time, uh, this dropped below VWAP just after that. So you can see not a whole lot of pressure on the volume side at times price. Um, this is a force index uh, down below. Um, but you can see that basically things started to get back high again uh, by around 8.45. Uh, we're pretty good, looking pretty good. So things sold off into the open, um, even despite this uh, being above VWAP. So you can see we're quite above VWAP here. Um, maybe that was part of the concern. A lot of people were just thinking, oh, this is pretty high. Um, but the rest of the day really stayed above VWAP almost entirely. Um, so quite quite a strong day, um, at least initially right here, you can see. Um, and then uh, kind, of, kind of like uh, some more pretty strong moves up, um, but maybe not as strong as right at the start of the day. MACD also shows that this early 6.30 a.m. move was pretty high, uh, kind of setting the tone again for the whole entire day. Um, it is surprising to see this drop right afterwards um, into 7, about 7.15 or so. Uh, so then, and then pretty much a straight up climb uh, after 7.15 until about 8.45 or so. The way I like to measure the day is kind of look at the peaks of the MACD and compare that to the low. So you can see uh, you know, the average was around 2.5 or so, 2.6, uh, and the low was around negative 2. So you can see that basically we're up about half a point a minute uh, per throughout the day. So the volume oscillator uh, shows that we showed some interesting volume here, right? It was actually quite negative, um, and even at the end of the day, it was quite negative as well. So you see that um, it's a little bit harder to read this uh, graph, but you can see that in general, we are at 8, 819 or so, and then the bottom was about 641. So a little bit higher on the positive side in terms of most, most of the volume that we saw in the day was positive. And throughout the day, you see basically two major spikes, um, and then this third spike right here at the end of the day, which is negative, looking pretty strong, actually. So this is a big concern, just basically seeing the negative volume right at the start of the day, negative volume at the end of the day, kind of confirming on both sides, and then the middle of the day basically being predominantly positive. But there was some negative volumes right in here. You can see uh, kind of chewing out the market a little bit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this study of the market. Let me know if you got any questions. Be sure to add a like and subscribe. Be glad to talk with you in detail about any day in specific. Thanks again. See you.